Hey everyone, I mean, I'm back. I know it's been a long time coming. I've been, I've been busy lately and all that, but you know, back with the third episode and uh, kind of want to give a special thanks to first, you know, Tracy for being on me about, you know, being adamant about these episodes and creating better content and really challenging me to, you know what I'm saying, write down notes and look for better ways to get my message across and, you know, which is branding and marketing and different things of that nature and stuff like that. Um, so really special shout out there on um, the bro. Um, but um, just touching bases on what we're going to get into today is uh, I think the title of this one is going to be called um, It's Okay. And uh, the reason then I'm going to pick It's Okay is because uh, I want to touch bases with the different like stigmas and uh, social pressures that we all face in this time, you know, um, from, you know, previous generations, uh, the stigmas that we have to have with our age and how social media can cast this, this whole little facade that we should have our shit together, you know, by a certain age and, you know, just getting caught up with how, just understanding that, you know, social media is basically people posting the best parts of their lives. Like, it may not even be accurate. You feel me? You ever, you ever run across somebody who, um, like, been in a relationship and they only post the best parts of their relationship, but it necessarily, that's not what really is going on on a day-to-day -day basis. You feel me? That's a, that's a moment and time of what really just transpires with what goes on. So it's basically a representation of what they want you guys to see, but not necessarily the accurate representation of that. You feel what I'm saying? So... I just want to get into that. So I think um, uh, the first thing I kind of want to touch bases with is just understanding that, bro, we got time. Like, we got time. Like, we just be getting so caught up with, like, thinking that, damn, I'm 18, damn, I'm 21, damn, I'm 24, damn, I'm, you feel me? We put us up in this box to where we feel like we got to have shit done at a certain time because we be hearing these courageous stories of other people like having shit have being a million as an 18 you know what i'm saying having these cars at this age or being drafted at this age so it's almost in a sense where we all feel like we got to get our shit together or we gonna fuck around and be cast by the wayside you feel me and it's just not it's just it's just understand that we do have time to be like that like to, to get to where we're going you feel what i'm saying so understanding that we have time to get to where we're going but also have a plan to get to where you're going you feel what i'm saying be adamant and 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 where you feel like you want to go so in a sense, it's like, say that you do want to become, you know, a, a doctor or you want to become, uh, in my case, I want to become either a counselor, psychologist or a clinical therapist. Um, I want to become that, but what are my plans to become that? You feel me? I may put it on myself to be like, fuck, it's crunch time. I need to get this shit done in X amount of years so I can have time to have to do X amount of other stuff. You feel me? So the understanding is that you have to have a plan. You feel me? You can't just say that, oh, shit, I want this, that, and the third. You have to have a plan about how much you want to have. You know, we also create these pressures from ourselves of thinking that we we almost put ourselves in this box to where we feel as though we think one way. We, we almost think, we almost try to think what we think that other people going to think about us, if that makes sense. It's like, damn, if, if, if they see me at this job or damn I'm at 24 and, and I got this to show for it, it's like fuck, I'm a laughing stock, you feel me? But at the same time, you gotta understand, like, bro, your journey is your journey. But not a lot of people are, are satisfied with that. You feel me? Like, like at my like like at a sense at a sense, you know, you may be 21 right now, you feel me, in college, you 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 probably broke as fuck, no wheels, you know, no car to get around and shit like that. And you know, struggling your day-to-day -day basis and we're trying to get food, but you in college, you doing the right thing to get to where you're going. You're in the beginning of your long on your longevity. You feel me? That's why I'm saying it's like it's like you understand your end goal. So understanding that this is a part where you're going at because you gotta understand like in your journey, it's certain things that have to happen to you and that have to transpire for you to learn from those moments for you to get to where you're going. Just for instance, just imagine if you never would have went through what you went through earlier in your years, you never would have learned to, to change your habits. For instance, like if you never got your ass up when you were little, maybe you would have never, you would have keep on doing some of the bad habits that your parents were trying to teach you to stay out of. You feel what I'm saying? Like if I never would have got my ass up, you feel me for 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 like putting my hand in the pot when my mom wanted to look in a, 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 a take a cake in the middle of the night. But I still, I still be acting on those type of habits. So you have to understand, you have to learn from those different things that you got, you go through, and under and understand that those are lessons. 
You feel what I'm saying? Sometimes we get we get hit so hard by these life lessons and things of like that nature, and not understanding that damn, like like it's being done for a reason. Like for instance, like I go through certain things on a daily basis, you know, and I may feel like fuck, I'm being punished in no sense because it's like damn, all this ba all this shit happened to me back to back is almost to sense like like damn like. Like God really like beating me up with it with all the stuff I'm going on. You feel what I'm saying? So, but it's not. But it's the thing is like, I told. I remember telling my friend like, you're either gonna wise up from the little signs that you're getting, or life gonna make you wise up. If that makes sense. So you could be moving, you know, crazy and not slowing down and, and understanding that if you keep moving so wild, life gonna slow you down. So for instance, you know, um, I have. I have a friend, you know, who lives wild, you know what I'm saying, smoke here and there, you know what I'm saying, always got his gun on him and different things of that nature. And I'm, I'm not trying to tell him, like, hey, you, you want to live this type of lifestyle, but you got to understand, you know what come with that. You know, I know we from and all those different things of that nature, but you got to understand what come with that. And you know your long-term goal, you got to have a long-term goal. You your, your goal may be different from mine, but understand me, being the helping friend that I want to be, I try to help that person out with understanding, like, look. You know what I'm saying? If you keep living, living like this, waking up, smoking, not really having a job, you know what I'm saying, chasing females and different things of that nature, you know what come with that. You know what come with the good, you know what come with the bad. Having the money, uh, you know what I'm saying, attract a female, but at the same time, that's a short lifestyle that you want to live, but it's it's not longevity. So you know what can come 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 with that. You know what I'm saying? The police, it can come with jail time, it can come with it's putting you like behind with where you're trying to go at and where you wouldn't want to be later on in life. Because understand, you're not gonna live like this for five, ten more years. You feel me? So in its sense, that can lead to jail, so that can lead to felon felonies and different things of that nature, not being able to establish a foundation later on for the family that you may have in the future or for the or for the, the significant other that you may have in the future. So in a sense, longevity wise, I was one of his signs to be like, hey bro, slow down. You feel me? Say he got pulled over with a with with with, with drugs in the car. And he got away. You feel me? Like, okay, we're gonna give you a we're gonna give you a warning because maybe he was like speed like speeding or he didn't have his lights on or something like that. He got pulled over by the by by, by the police and then let him get away with it. Boom, that's another sign. You feel me? Of like, bro, slow down. You're close to getting you're you're close to fucking everything up. Now let's just say worst case scenario, you feel what I'm saying? He end up, you know, getting into it with his girl one of his girlfriends, you know what I'm saying? They get into it, he beat her. You know what I'm saying? Break the windows in the house, shit like that. Police come over, boom. He got drugs in the house and guns in the house. Now you don't fuck your whole situation up because of you didn't, uh, you didn't, you didn't see the signs. You feel what I'm saying? So like, just understanding that these things take place with you having to understand the things that you go on in life. It's going to be lessons that you're going to have to learn and and, and the signs that you're going to see early on in your life. And if you don't slow down by those signs, life will hit you hard. And it's going to make you slow down. You feel what I'm saying? Like him not seeing him seeing those signs and maybe brushing it off like okay boom I got lucky I'm still live how I live. It was a fuck up because later on he ended up paying for it. You feel me? He didn't learn from that. You feel what I'm saying? You ever dealt with somebody who been in and out of jail or something like that and they always end up finding themselves back in that same rotation, in jail, back doing the same shit, get back in jail. You feel me? They end up putting their stuff in this ro constant rotation of not learning from those signs. So now they did their stuff deeper and deeper into a hole. You feel what I'm saying? So it's understanding that we have to, we can't ignore the signs that's that 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 we have placed in our lives for us to get to where we're going. So I'm gonna move along from that, and also um, having a plan to where we want to get to where we're going. You know, with with, with where I want to go at, I have I necessarily have to have a a, a six month plan and a one month plan and a two month, I mean a two year plan. You feel what I'm saying? A one year plan, two year plan, a uh, five year plan, because I know that. You know, certain things may not always go as planned. So I need to know that I need to have things put in place so that when something doesn't go a certain way, you have something to counteract with that. You feel me? So that's another thing that you it has to be cognitive of. But you have to know what you want to do. You feel what I'm saying? So that's a, that's like the beginning of it is knowing what you want to do and then knowing how you're going to get there. And it's not always that easy knowing, we, uh, knowing how to get there because we always get put in these situations where sometimes everybody doesn't have it figured out. You know, everybody don't know, damn. Everybody might figure that, oh, if I'm not a ball player or, or if I'm not good at, at, at a music, in music or I'm not good with, with or very smart or if I don't like college certain things, they may not feel like they have a, like a talent or somewhere they can be able to to, to, to execute like their self for being successful in. But it's not always the case. You have to be able to find what you want to be good at and stuff like that. Not, not find what you want to be good at, but find what you love to do and be able to figure out how how would there be a way to be able to 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 not only make money off of that, but to be able to change people's lives with doing that if that's your calling, you know? Find your calling, execute the plan to your calling, and continue to do your calling. You feel what I'm saying? Because from your 
your calling, you may be able to open up doors for somebody else's calling, if that makes sense. But understand, your calling is your calling. Your calling may come to you in your childhood. Somebody else's calling, calling may come later on in life. You know what I'm saying? You have to understand, you can't always judge your timeline by somebody else's job timeline. Ooh. Hey, I've been talking that shit. Hey, you can't judge your timeline by somebody else's timeline. A lot of us do that shit through social media, like, you know, dating back to what I said earlier. You know, we always be getting caught up in how people be having certain things by a certain age, and then we probably put ourselves in this box, like, fuck, I gotta have this by this time, but understand, like, it's, it's not always, it's, it's, what's meant for you is what's meant for you. He got that, that person, he or she may have gotten that at that time because that was meant for them to have that at that time. And maybe that was put in that, that was probably implemented to be put in place right in there for you to see that, for that to be able to motivate you, knowing that, hey, look, they got that at this time. Maybe that's your, that's motivation for you to get your shit together. You feel what I'm saying? So just trying to turn that perspective and understanding that you don't have to judge your outcome or your timeline to oppose to someone else's timeline. But just use, start using things in a positive light, a positive perspective of understanding that. Use that to be fueled to your fire, to be able to get you to where you're going. Feel me? So, um, yeah, I just think that we all just need to plan to where we're going. And um, another thing I want to, like, touch bases on is protecting, protecting your peace. <laughs> and it's beautiful, protecting your peace. Um, a lot of us get wrapped up in a lot of things that we have going on. And a lot of us get, I have like, uh, for instance, like me, I'm going to just use me as an example because I deal with me on a day-to-day -day basis. You did what I'm saying. And um, I'm going to just go out and say it. I have um, <clears throat> general anxiety disorder on a major scale, you know, like on a, like one out of 10, I, I'm probably having on a, like I have on a severe scale, which would probably be like 12. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like I have intrusive thoughts. Intrusive would be thoughts that come in that you can't stop. They come in constant and constant. I worry a lot. I worry like a motherfucker. Like that's just, that's just me. You know what I'm saying? I take medicine for it, something like that. So sometimes I can't even help to think as much as I think, overthink as much as I overthink, and worry as much as I worry. You feel what I'm saying? But that's just me. So sometimes I have to put myself in predicaments and places where I protect my peace from not making myself worry so much. So I may not always put myself around negativity. I may not always include certain people in my life at certain times that's going on throughout the day because I can't afford to exert that amount of energy and I can't afford to put myself in that type of space that is going to hinder my peace. You feel what I'm saying? You ever stop hanging with a group of people because not only did they not have the same uh, uh, outlook as you on life or and where they were going in life, but they also casted a, a certain space of energy of negativity when it came about you trying to be, to get to where you're going, if that makes sense. So like in a sense, it's almost to where it's like that that nagging female you've been fucking with and she just won't constantly stop bitching at you or or I mean not not that female but your 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 lady or whatever like that won't constantly stop bitching at you. I always feel like she attack you or something like that or even if uh, uh, or even with females, you know, you have these constant stressors where it's like, you know, you got school going on, you may have a dude on your trail, you you having relationship problems and at home your mom is on you, your dad is on you, things like that. This can relate to anybody. You know, it's not just a gender thing. So like it's understanding that Put yourself in this energy and space to where you are only receiving positive energy. Anything that is taken away from that is a hindrance. You dig what I'm saying? Like, like, like personally with me, sometimes I have to like, I have like a, like a, like a, like a, like a social tank damn near. Like, 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 you know, I can be socialist for, I can talk to everybody, make everybody laugh, stuff like that. But sometimes I get, I get on E, like I, I get to the point where it's like, damn, I can't deal with nobody right now. You feel me? My mental, my mental load is so... It's so on overload, I can't even afford to put any more on that. Like, it, the capacity is on overload, so I can't even afford to put anything on top of that, if that makes sense. You feel what I'm saying? So, and then on top of that, it's like my, my social load is overloaded too. You feel me? Like, I'm, I'm wore out for the day or for the week with being around anybody because it's other priorities that take a part in before that. You feel what I'm saying? So, I protect my peace by being by myself and only allowing positivity and things that's going to add to my social morale my social morale or my, my self-esteem that will boost it, if that makes sense. So but, uh, but so understand, like, don't let anybody be able to take away your energy or let your energy be drained from people who are not only negative, but who are not trying to add positivity to what you have going on. Because it's a lot. <clears throat> it's a lot to try to deal with your problems and someone's problems as well. So be understanding of, like, like a, and also be, um, um this, this is a side note. When you have best friends, you have loved ones, you have these people that's near and dear to your heart, 
be mindful when you're venting to, them, venting to them and you're coming to them. Be mindful and ask before you do this because it's hard to be a crutch for yourself and someone else. Ask them first if they have enough, like if they have enough mental load to be able to carry what they got going on and whatever you finna hit them with. Because everybody is not always in a position to be your crutch. You feel me? And that's gonna say both of y'all a lot of a lot of hurt because it's gonna hurt when they can't give you the proper advice because they're dealing with something else as well. And it's gonna save that person a lot of hell because they may not, it may overwhelm them to the point of their, where they're worried about you and their self right now. You feel me? Because everybody have a mental load. Everybody have a social load. Everybody has that. So just be mindful of that when you do come to somebody that they, you need their help and stuff like that. Because everybody, everybody is going through something. Um, um, another thing is, I wanted to say, like, I know we get into these conversations with our elders about, you know, you know, the generation above us being there. Oh, I had this. I had a goddamn stove, a, a car, and... All these things at 16, I had four acres of, of land and, and cows and all this other shit. And like, understand, like, bro, our generation to me is way different than the generation before. You know, we can execute off of different things that make a lot of, to generate a lot of revenue. But understand, we have to stop holding ourselves accountable for the, the things that have happened to the previous the generation before. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to different stigmas that they place on us about having to have our shit together at a certain time, you know, it's a lot of things you can talk about by the generation before and uh, as opposed to the generation right now. But we have to understand we can't keep putting ourselves in this box that our mom and fathers put us put us in to make to make us feel like we have to have all our shit in order by a certain time. You feel me? So be mindful of that. You know what I'm saying? Not not saying that you should ignore your mom or they don't want the best for you, but understanding that there are differences between the times when my mom and my, my mom and dad was you know what I'm saying? My age and with me being my age, it was, times were different. You know, gas were different. Certain things were different. Cops, school was different. You know, it was different. There was different stressors now. Everybody had stressors, but it was different things that played a part into why things were doing at a certain pace than it was now. You feel what I'm saying? So we have to be mindful of that and be understanding that your timeline is your timeline. Please be understand that. You know what I'm saying? So understand where you're, where you're at and where you're going at. So don't always... I know it's easy to get caught up in social media and understanding like fuck we supposed to have this at this age i know i know it's it's hard for me too I, my anxiety be kicking my ass especially at night time i'll be like fuck man i need to have this job i need to see my family at this time i need to have my football stuff in order fuck i need to have my grad school application situated and it'd be so much stuff at one time i'm like fuck i gotta eat i gotta sleep I gotta get this much time to sleep and it's like all that shit at one time is like fuck Damn, who, who, like, like, it's like, damn, what do you do when you had that much stuff going on at one time? But you have to understand, you got to plan it out. You got to write it down. You got to be persistent with where you're going at, too. Because it's kind of hard to, to, to get to where you're going and then not have the immediate results that you want. That should be eating you up. I know it, do because it eat me up. Especially when I get to where, when I, when I know I want to get to where I'm going and I don't get the results immediately where I got going. It's like when people be going to the gym and they be flexing right after they get out of the gym. It's like, bro, you just went in a, a day. Like, vibe. You got to be persistent with it. You feel me? You got to keep going with it. You feel what I'm saying? Because, like, a lot of places that we're going, it's not going to be built. It's not going to be, the foundation not going to be set in the time that we would like. You feel me? A lot of us be on that foundation and to be rich and, and set already and, like, like now. <laughs> like, yesterday. The foundation set yesterday, but it's not going to happen like that. You feel me? It does take time. You know what I'm saying? So so understanding that it does take time and understanding that it's not going to always happen the way you want it to happen. That's when you rather be mindful of knowing that, hey, I got to be persistent enough to know that the obstacles that come my way, I got to be mindful and optimistic enough to know that I can take this on and get past it and learn from it. Please learn from the, the, the mistakes that you have because you're going to keep finding yourself in the same situations until you learn from it or until it beats your ass enough to where you ain't got no choice but to learn from it. And I'm speaking from experience. And another thing I want to drop on you, which is a gym, is that maturity does not come from age. Maturity comes from experience. Experience equals maturity because through experience, you 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 experience more things. Like okay, this is this is why people think that maturity comes from age. You would think that the more thing, the more you got, the more things you done been through, the more things you've been able to learn. So that means they would, you know, that would correspond with being mature. But there's so many people that have haven't went through enough things or have learned enough things from those signs that I was talking about before my podcast. They haven't they haven't learned enough things from those signs. So they have they still going through the same shit they've been going through five, two, five years ago. You feel me? 
So they haven't got that maturation curve. But if you learn from those signs and those lessons that you did go through, now you experience something because you're learning something. So now you then, there go your maturity right there. Damn, I got to stop being on topic. But yeah, like, you feel me? That's how that, that's how that shit go. So then you have to also be able to, to have coping me mechanisms as well with what you got going on. You know, with me, man, like, like with me having this general anxiety disorder, bro, like, it be fucking me up. I ain't even gonna flex. Like, like I be overthinking, you know what I'm saying? I be in this in the spots where I be like, sometimes I don't know what to do, I don't know what to say, you know what I'm saying? This shit make you get emotional because you don't really know what to do or how to go about certain things. So you just be finding yourself in such a frustration. But I'm I'm to the point I'm the per I'm a person that's like I don't really vent, I don't really open up to nobody, nothing like that. So I'm to the point where it's like I overthink so much that I help myself get out of my situations. You know, but I'm not the, always the I'm not always the best person to get advice from, or I'm not the best person to follow my own advice to. But sometimes I I I think so much, and I find these different solutions and different perspectives to put myself in these different situations from a different angle. I then be able to help myself with these different solutions because I don't trust anybody else to help me through my situation as much as I as much as I do. Because I be feeling like nobody else don't care about the situation as much as I do. So I say fuck it. I'ma just figure it out. You feel me? Because you know how how bad it feels when you depend on somebody, and then it's like they can't really help you as much as you would think they can. And it's not their fault because maybe they don't they don't care about it as much as you do, but it it, it it lets you down. But it makes you feel like, damn, they don't care about it as much as I do. So I'll just do it myself because I don't want to be let down by them, by me feeling like I can take some of my burden off on, and put it on someone else. You feel me? So, you know, with find you way to cope and some and, and make sure it's positive. I mean, all of us have these toxic traits that we do have. And sometimes it's not as 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 good as we should. We, we feel that like they should be. But. You know, personally with me, I have a couple of coping me mechanisms. You know, I listen to music. You know, I get real in tune with music. Um, uh, that's a big part of how I cope with a lot of different things, you know. And um, another thing I like to do is watch cartoons that help me with coping. You know, I may go through some shit like that. I to eat a bowl of cereal, watch cartoons, and it helps, you know, because it do something for my psyche. You feel me? It's not just like watch cartoons to laugh, but it's like, you, you remember those days when we wake up on Saturdays and it would be like, you wouldn't have no worries. You, the, the school out Saturdays, Wake up Saturday, watch the whole from like damn that from eight to like twelve or one. You got cartoons or cartoons. No worries. You just wake up, eat breakfast, and watch cartoons. You chilling for the day. And whatever your mama go run errands, you might run go with her, go outside to play after the cartoons. No worries. So it put my mental state in that time of place to where I didn't relax. Like fuck. Like you feel me? Good times, good times. So I watch the old cartoons. You know, that's just loud. You feel me? Like all the little throwbacks, Curse the Cowley Dog. You feel me? Like all the little throwbacks that put me in a place where it's like, no worries, you know, Akuna Matata, all that jazz. You feel me? So um, not only just that, um, you know, I talk to God on different occasions, you know, um, even even in public, you know, sometimes I, I, I get down. I don't just get out and pray, but sometimes I just sit back and just ask, not, not asking for strength, but even on my, on my time where I'm just vibing, like sometimes I try to just be like, man, I'm thankful, like, you feel me? Like, I don't want to hold up the, the you know what I'm saying, the prayer line too long, but I'm just coming to you to say I'm thankful. I do do that sometimes. I, do, I should do it more. You feel me? Because sometimes I don't want to be that kind of person that feel like I want to call on God in the time of need. You feel me? I want to call and say I'm be thankful. You know what I'm saying? So just be mindful of finding what works for you in your time of need. Like how I said earlier, when, when about protecting your peace, finding ways that, that help you out, that don't take away from someone else that you feel I'm saying you ever feel like you get in a situation where you don't make you don't have so much trust in somebody else being your support system to the point where if y'all fall out or y'all not together no more and they 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 are in the picture anymore that takes that takes away from majority of your 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 support system you feel me? you gotta have so much it's like damn it you gotta have so much peace in yourself to where the point where you don't gotta depend on nobody else for your own peace you feel me like you gotta have inner peace you feel what I'm saying? Like, it got to be to the point where when you deal with somebody, they got to add to whatever you got going on, not take away if they leave the picture. You feel me? Like, I, like it's like, 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 please listen to that. Like, you got to be so much for yourself that if anybody leaves, they don't take nothing with them. You feel me? And if they come to you, they add to you. You feel what I'm saying? It never subtracts if they leave because you have enough for yourself to be there for yourself. Now, it's always love when genuine efforts and genuine intentions are reciprocated to you and you're giving it out as well that's a beautiful thing it's genuine that's love but at the same time you got to be in a situation where you know what i'm saying that that you're able to be able to have a peace within yourself and find that peace within yourself before you can cast it out in anybody else same thing with love 
you know what I'm saying? So find your coping mechanism that can help with you and, and, and try to, to be where it reciprocates better energy. You know, it can be a relaxed thing to where, you know, some people smoke, you feel me? Some people watch TV, some people, you know what I'm saying, sing or take a hot bath, something like that. But try to make make it do something that induces not only just your, your mood, but also it creates a positive vibe. It, it, it brings something positive towards you and something like that. You know what I'm saying? To a, to a, to a better cause. And that's your, that's your mood, your feelings. Uh, for you to go do something positive so like that, you know, so be mindful of that, you know, a lot of some people like to vent, some people like to, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, go pray, just find what helps you cope with what you have going on and that, so um, another thing I always, I want to touch bases on is I want people to, I think we should all be aware of how we uh, communicate, I, I think, no, we should be aware of how we feel and how we, and how we communicate that. A lot of you may deal with a lot of like a people that you may be de- you may deal with people that um, don't know how to communicate how they feel and then they expect for people to like know how to deal with that but it's it's not always the case like I don't sometimes and you know a lot of things we get in these relationships where we deal with people and we don't even know we we expect them to know know us from the back of my hand like like you feel me and then it's like you just they you get disappointed when they get the shit wrong but it's like damn everybody can't be a genie and everybody can't be a mind reader you feel me even the people that's been together for a long time it's, it's certain things that you tend to forget because other stressors that come into play to where your mind is physically full capacity of other things that go going on so i know if it, it, it hurts when it's like thought you should know this by now you feel me like you know me long enough to know that this is my favorite ice cream or this is my favorite food or this is my favorite color you feel me but at the same time it can be it can always be hashed out better if y'all both just communicate that shit like look i really appreciate if you give me this i know you know what i'm saying either money tight or you got all that stuff going on but i appreciate if you get this or throw more hints out you feel me like it's better when a lot of those things communicate and i, I feel like a lot of people who have these feelings that i can't really explain i feel like it should be it, it takes a lot of patience for that person who has those feelings that they can't explain and for someone who's dealing with that person to really to really find a common place for them to both be able to like to 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 Find a common place where they're both are satisfied with dealing with that matter. You feel me? Because it's not easy being able to communicate the feelings the best way. Like like me, I can talk my feelings. I can talk. You feel me? I can say how I feel exactly. I'm, I feel like I'm very verbal and real good and real in tune with how I feel. But not a lot of people are really in tune with their stuff or, or even or grew up. When they grow up, when they grew up, they weren't. Like they may not be able to, they may not have been able to have been taught how to express that. You feel me? So understand, like, you have to be patient with that person. And, and, and I think another good technique is, look, say how you feel, get it out, and we can then work around how you can then communicate that in a better fashion. You feel me? Like, you know, you may fuck with somebody who, 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 who every time they get upset, they scream, yell, okay, boom. Y'all get out of that shit. Y'all, y'all hash everything out. Boom. Now, let's talk about the reinforcement so that this shit don't happen again. You feel me? Because every time we get into it, bro, you're not going to be raising your voice. You're not going to be cussing, something like that. Because that, 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 that doesn't solve a lot of stuff. It blows off steam, but it doesn't solve anything. You know what I'm saying? It creates another problem inside another problem. Y'all may got into it because of bills weren't on time or something like that. So now that I'm raising my voice and letting off steam, I'm going to create another problem because now I feel like I need to defend myself because you raised your voice. You get what I'm saying? So with that being said, it just makes it that much harder when you don't communicate it effectively. That, okay, look, this is going on. This is why I'm feeling like this. You feel what I'm saying? And it's I know I know it sounds easy, but it is it, it's not it's not always easy because you're not always trying to be the bigger person or or think this deeply about how you feel and want to communicate that shit effectively. Because at at that time you're like, bitch, I'm mad. Why the fuck I need to be you feel me peaceful to somebody who you know what I'm saying? When I'm upset, you feel me? It's all about me. It's all about that. You may not be thinking about that like that, but it be like that. You feel me? So I just think that us being mindful of how toxic we may be. Or how we communicate that or how we feel. I think that's a big p- part of how we should go about things is being mindful of how we feel and how we communicate it. Because a lot of things can be solved by just saying how you feel or saying what you want to be done. You feel me? And, it's, and, and the thing is, it's not always going to happen the right way you want it to. But another thing that does play a part into it is timing. You feel me? So I think execute how you want certain things to happen at the right time can happen. And sometimes you may not know when it's the right time, but it's a better way to find out by asking than by hitting at it or keeping it suppressed. And if you respect that person enough, they will, and then they respect you, if they respect you enough, they will give you the, the best feedback for whatever you're looking for, whatever you're asking for. You feel what I'm saying? I'm going to touch more on that shit in my next episode because that, that's a beautiful topic. But, you know what I'm saying, for time purposes, um, 
I also want to talk about um, understanding like uh, about being yourself before you can do to someone else. I mean, obviously what I was talking about earlier as far as like being able to understand yourself before you can t un like be for somebody else. And it's like if you're suffering from certain things you got going on in your life, everybody is suffering from something. You feel what I'm saying? My thing with that is that understand that with what you have going on and what you're dealing with, it's a lot of things that you can be dealing with on a daily basis, certain thing like that. And you have to find your solutions, your coping me mechanisms, and how you want to get through those different things. But understand that if you can't deal with your personal problems, sometimes it's hard to be there for someone else. You feel what I'm saying? And it's hard to be that crush for someone else if you can't be it for your damn self. And trust me, like, you know, start, you know, I'm, I'm trying to do it with myself. Call your people, check on them from day to day because. Man, it be some tough days that come out of nowhere. You feel me? And, and they be dealing with that shit, bro. And they don't be knowing where the fuck they gonna get certain things from. Whether it's a pit meal, whether it's money, whether it's you feel me? Like how they gonna get to the end of the day? And just certain things, just call them, check on them, and stuff like that. And you know, everybody ain't always talking tight. They be suffering from something. Sometimes you gotta dig it out on them. Sometimes you gotta give them a little bit of space, talk to them about it later. But check on them, man, because I'm telling you, like that should be helping, like. You know, I said, I called my sister and she cried, bro. I just opened up to how much I cared about it and how much I appreciate her. And, bro, I, I like, we don't even talk how I feel like we should talk. But me telling her I appreciate her and about the things she did over the years and how I know that she going through what she going through. And it's, some, it's hard to be staying so resilient and persistent how she is, bro, that it speaks volumes because that's for everybody who got what they got going on. And they still going through whatever they going through and trying to get through it and being persistent at it and not giving up. Everybody can relate to that. And knowing that somebody who loves her came to her and told her that out of nowhere, bro, it's a beautiful thing because you know that's genuine. You know it's like, man, I, I know somebody peed this. I know somebody know I'm dealing with this myself. And they took the time out of their day to be able to tell me that, bro. It's a beautiful thing. Just just share that kind of positive energy. It, it dates back to the to earlier in my podcast of me of, of spreading that peace and protecting your peace. And the kind of energy that I was giving to her is, is the kind of energy I wanted to reciprocate. So I feel like I was creating a space of positive energy so that that was the kind of energy I would expect. You feel what I'm saying? You ever fought with somebody and, and every and, and every time you see them, it's, you always joking? You, you created a space for that to happen. You feel what I'm saying? You ever like went to school in the class and you know like, fuck, I can't have my phone not. Because that's the kind of space, that's the kind of energy and space that your teacher created. Like, bro, you can't, you know what I'm saying? You can't do that shit over here. Or like knowing that, Okay, if my friend cut in my career, he can cuss, but he can go in the fridge and eat. But if I go to his career, I can't cuss and I can't go in his fridge and I, I'm scared to leave the living room because they people be tripping. You feel me? That's the energy that was created in those different types of areas that certain things can be allowed and can't be allowed. You do what I'm saying? So just correlate to that to your personal space. Like your your body is your personal house and what's going to be tolerated, what's going to be bringing in, what's going to be pushed out and different things of that nature. You feel me? That's... Hey, protect your peace. Hey, no, if you don't know what that is, them snaps. Like, protect your peace, man. And that's a big thing that I'm big on is protecting your peace. Um, it's a beautiful thing. So, um, yeah, with that being said, uh, you know, this is Conscious Gems uh, title. Uh, it's okay. Uh, I'll be catching up with you guys on the next episode. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to touch bases on next. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys got something out of this. You know, I hope I touched base on a lot of things. If you guys want me to expand on anything or a specific topic, you know, you can always uh, shoot me an email or anything of that nature. My email is adrianpalmore19 at gmail.com. Again, it's adrian, A-D-R-I-A-N, palmore, P-A-L-M-O-R-E, 19 at gmail.com. Um, uh, my IG is ad underscore palmore yeah ad underscore palmore and i think uh my twitter yeah my twitter is uh adrian p underscore mm you know what i'm saying so you can hit me on there um yeah so if you guys got some questions anything i love feedback man i love feedback i love like even if it's negative you feel me like oh you should expand on this or i feel like this or that way man hit me with feedback man like that's i need that um any topics you want me to explore or expand on i'm all for that you know what i'm saying and yeah i'm an open book you know any questions that you want to have i can i can answer them on the podcast you know i don't mind doing that um i want to be featured on the podcast i don't mind doing that you did what i'm saying i'm open to all that you know i'm new to this so Y'all be, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Y'all be, y'all vibe with me and rock with me on that. So uh, be patient, you know. Uh, I'm going to keep these things coming because I feel like a lot of things that I talk about need to be heard. You feel me? So uh, with that being said, that being concluded, 
Um, yeah, it's a wrap. I appreciate you guys for listening. All right, y'all. Weezy out of